combine together to form a tissue. Okay, cells which uh, work together, which look similar, and do the same job, combine together to form tissue. Now, tissues which look similar but they do a different job, combine together to form a organ. Okay, this means that cells combine to form tissues and tissues combine to form organs. For example, we take an example of leaf. When we see the internal structure of leaf, we say that there are four layers. Epidermis, palatial parenchyma, spongylated and the lower epidermis. Okay? So now, coming to the upper epidermis. The upper epidermis, its function is to protect and to take the sunlight from the sun. To protect and take the sunlight from the sun. Then it comes to palisade layer. The palisade layer is used to make food, okay? Because it is underneath the uh, epidermis layer, epidermis layer, so it is very easy for it to catch light. So palisade layer is used to make food. Then there is spongy and then there is lower epidermis, okay? So this was tissues and organs. After tissues and organs, we are having a topic which is very interesting which is fertilization. Now, in fertilization, what does this mean? Fertilization means that the fusion of the male cell with the egg cell to form an embryo and a seed, this process is called fertilization. Now, what is fertilization in plants and how it takes place? For example, the fertilization in plants takes in the flowers. Okay. Now what happens that anther is the male, the uh, male flower and the uh, ovary is the female structure. Now what happens that this is the anther and this is the filament. Okay. Inside the anther there are pollen grains. Uh, inside the pollen grains there are pollen cells and inside the cells there is pollen nucleus. Now what happens that the pollen grain moves to the stigma of the ovary. Now how is it possible? This is possible in two ways. First, it goes through the wind or through the water or through any medium. Okay. Or the second thing is that the insects are carried and uh, the pollen grains are carried by the insects to the other flowers. Okay. Now the reef the reaching of the pollen grain on the stigma of the ovary, this is called pollination. Okay, and we say that pollination has happened. Okay, this process, only this process is called pollination. Now, after reaching the stigma, the pollen grain cell grows a tube down through the style into the ovary. Okay. Now, when it grows a tube, now what happens? That inside the pollen cell was the pollen nucleus, remember? Okay? So, now what happens? That the pollen nucleus moves down the tube from here and goes into the ovary. Oh, in the ovary, there is egg cell. Now, what happens? That the pollen cell combines with the egg cell, egg nucleus, combines with the pollen nucleus to form a new cell and form a new cell which then re-divides to form embryo and a seed and then that seed grows into a new plant okay so this was fertilization okay now we move towards a very interesting topic which is electrical circuits now what are electrical circuits first of all you know that as the water uh, the, the water flows in the pipes. Okay. Similarly, the current flowing in the wire is called electricity. Okay. And what is electric circuit? The route of the wire from one 
cylindrical circuit. Now, for, to make it easy for us to understand, we have uh, developed some symbols to indicate it. Okay? Symbol for wire is this, this. Symbol for cell is this. Symbol for switch, open switch is this. Close switch is this. Okay? And symbol for bulb is this. So that it is easier for us to make the circuit. Now, what 